of Edinburgh, who received a very warm welcome to Finland, is seen arriving at the stadium. In the matter of refreshment, His Royal Highness adopted the Helsinki form, you know, self-help and all that. When he took his place in the stand, he had the 16-year-old Duke of Kent with him, and together they watched some of the very thrilling finals. The 1500 meters, for example. This was an event which we in Britain had hoped Roger Bannister, 177, might possibly win. Seen here, running fourth, he made a magnificent effort and did in fact produce his fastest time ever. But he wasn't fast enough to catch Barthel of Luxembourg, Macmillan, America, or Lug, Germany, who finished in that order in front of him and all broke the record. Now for the 26-mile marathon race. There was big competition, but once again, Britain had hopes that one of our men would emerge from the mass of runners to win a gold medal. We thought perhaps it might be Peters, 187, who set a new record in a marathon here at home, or it might be Cox, 185. But when Emil Zatopek, that astounding Czech, number 903, is in a race, he usually wins it. Out of the stadium and into the country, with a hot pace being set, even for an Olympic event. At one point, Peters and Zatopek ran in company and even discussed the pace, it's reported. But presently, the man who'd already won the five and ten thousand meters was away on his own. Some five or six miles from the finish, Peters was obviously in distress. Soon afterwards, he'd had it. Cramp had knocked him out. Zatopek, however, went gaily on, though he never looks very gay on the job. He was away ahead of the field with no one to challenge him, and he entered the stadium a lone but very triumphant figure. Definitely the athlete of these Olympics, he went on to finish in two hours, 23 minutes, 3.25 seconds. Over six minutes better than the previous Olympic best. And that's how he did the hat trick. Magnificent. Thank you.